Cool. 937. We ordered data in log files. You have an array of logs. Each log is a space lim delimited string of words. For each log, the first word in each log is an alphanumeric identifier. Then either either each word after the identifier will consist of only lower lowercase letters, or each word after the identifier will consist of only digits. Uh, okay. And then there are letter logs and digit logs, and it's guaranteed that each log has at least one word after identify. We order the logs such that all the letter logs come before any digit logs, and then the letter logs are ordered lexicographically, ignoring identifier. And they're all lowercase, okay, with the identifier used in case of ties. The digit logs should be printed, put in their original order. We turn the final order of the logs, okay, so, so write a sorting function, I think that's the, uh, the thing, but... Cool. So the first word is the identifier. So we and we ignore the identifier, right? Okay, we put all the letter locks first and then the digit locks we ignore. So the or like not ignore, but just put in the back. Um, so that's kind of you have to make sure that it's uh what's it called stable. So, uh, I mean, I think we don't even. Hmm. No, okay. So we can, well, that's play around with. Right? Can can we just do something like uh, key is equal or key is equal? Where um. Hmm. Something like that. So we have to take account of the numbers, of course. Uh, okay, well, let's just say... Let's use a helper. No, the identifier. Oh, the identifier is used in ties. Okay. Okay. This is ID. And then we have to lock type maybe. And we probably should cache this in theory so we don't keep doing it, but um maybe I mean four hundred is fast enough anyway, so like I'm gonna be a little lazy. But What if you have multiple words? Hmm. <coughs> okay. So, okay. So now if identifier, let's just say How do we check if it's a number? Or what's the easiest way? Yeah, whatever. Okay, fine. Let's say it's between, then return. Let's go silver. Putting in the front. Uh, oh no, we want the log type. Um, then we do log type and then identifier. I might need more than that actually. Oh. 
else is a number, so we actually just want them in the same order. Uh, hmm. Well, how do we ensure stable sort? I actually don't know if default Python sort is stable. Maybe there's a key. So, uh, hmm. I guess it's stable by default. So we could actually just return the same key and hope that that works. All right, let's, let's give it a try. Oh, an int. I mean, there are different signs tuples, but maybe that's let's try and make it a tuple. <laughs> well, I guess returning it would make it easier to uh, compare. <laughs> cool. All right. Not sure I trust you. Eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. I was going to put in more test cases, but maybe it'll give me an edge case. Okay, cool. Actually, we put, did pretty fast on the timing. <laughs> A little surprised, but I mean, it's just very funny. Um, and definitely, we could have um, we could have uh, cache some of this word stuff, but um, but when n is equal to 100, it's I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, cool. Uh, so yeah, so this is a sorting problem. Uh, you can actually implement sorting in a number of ways. Um, you can actually, uh, and I think probably in theory, slightly easier to understand uh, is having a comparator. Uh, you just basically compare two, uh, two items uh, and then you just go for the rules to see which one should be in uh, before. Uh, don't not sure how. Again, uh, so the key thing that um, and and that should be good enough, which is not what I did, but that should be good enough. Um, I think one thing that uh, maybe is language specific, and that's what I googled to learn a little bit, is where the uh, sort is uh, what is called a stable sort. Uh, and a stable sort means that uh, given two things that are the same, um, the thing that came earlier uh, will st remain earlier. Um, and that comes in a point when like two things like have the same weight, if you will, or the same value, even though they have, they're different, right? Uh, like, let's say you're, I don't know, sorting by height, you know, Bob and Larry has the same height, but you, you if you sort it, you still want the person who was early in the, in the list to come first, and you, then it, there's a difference between Bob and Larry in that case. So that's a stable sort. Um, what I did is uh, I actually used uh, sorting by a key, which basically uh, maps each item to something that it could be sorted on. Um, and that's that's something that uh, I think maybe just comes a little bit with practice, uh, but definitely Definitely, uh, you said that's what I did. <laughs> it's a short story, but um, but and the reason why this works is that um, and it, a lot of this is very hard coded. Uh, so if you're on an interview, definitely explain this a little bit, or maybe just do it the the, the more straightforward way. Uh, but the, 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 uh, what I take advantage of that is that um, uh, yeah, um, what I take advantage of is that uh. In Python specifically, I mean, it may be the same in different languages or similar anyway, because uh, with type languages, it's probably not the same same. But um, but it sorts uh, tuples by kind of um, like element by element, uh, and so I so I put all the um, all the characters one first by put, giving it a zero prefix and a one prefix for all the numbers, uh, and for this uh, because all the numbers uh, have the same value. Uh, you said, or like the same weight in the sorting, uh, I just put it as none. Um, where in this case, um, yeah, I mean, well, sorting on keys is clearly right in that I submitted this already. Don't know if you saw this. Hey, Johnny, uh, welcome back to the chat, though. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but the reason I did this is that uh, 
Well, log type here, I think it's something that's not clear is uh, or may not be clear is that log type is actually the uh, the entire suffix of the strings uh, or of the words. So in this case, it's not just um, it's not just one word; it's an array of words, and then it uh, on arrays for Python, it also goes element by element, um, and then identifies the type rigor, assuming all the log types, which is all the suffix of words, are equal. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the way I did it. It's uh, I think the thing that I try to do, uh, and some of this is balanced, at least on the stream uh, between me practicing for computer programming and uh, and interviewing. For interviews, you definitely have to kind of learn to kind of at least articulate this, uh, even if it's quote unquote obvious. Um, and that may be a little trickier, to, and it affects how you write the code because you. I think you want to optimize for writing code that is readable by your interviewer, which is very important and able to explain as you go along. Uh, with competitive competitive programming, you want just code that is short so that it's uh, one, it's less typing so you get it fast. Two, um, just few places to make mistakes if uh, like in terms of typos and stuff because you're typing less, uh, and yeah, and all of that you goes faster submission time. Uh, in terms of how, I mean, I think this is a sorting problem. I think sorting problems are a very fair game for interviewers because it's just a, usually what they want you to do as an interviewer is just write a comparator function in which they already give you all the rules. So you just have to file the rules and translate rules to uh, to a function. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, and overall, this is n log n. You can't really get faster than sorting. I mean, maybe you could do some kind of bucket e things, but, but, uh, but that's kind of you could say it's output sensitive or alphabet sensitive depending on how, how uh, what kind of linear quote unquote linear sorting algorithms you use but um, but yeah and I don't use extra space except for maybe in memory depending on how sort is implemented but that's also uh, dependent on 